Well, Mitchell Asset News, my name is Rob. Today, I just wanted to just do a quick transfer, which I think we're going to do this uh, on, on a weekly basis, of the crypto that I've been dollar cost averaging per week and uh, ship it over to my Nano Ledger wall. And the reason for this is because I'll give you three good reasons, actually. Uh, Voyager, Celsius, and FTX. Those are three good reasons of why you should never leave anything on a centralized exchange. So we're going to do that today right now. What I want to do is just show you uh, have Cosmos. This is uh, using Coinbase. And I'm going to ship my Cosmos over my ledger. And uh, any every exchange is the same thing. I mean, just a little bit different. There's going to be somewhere where it's going to say send and receive, receive and send, or something like that. So here in Coinbase, this is how much I have. I have, I have a whopping uh, $19 for my uh, balance. So I'm going to click on send and receive. And it's going to ask me, okay, how much you want to send? I will be a little risky and send it all. And I, I want to preface it with this. If you're trying to send like a hundred thousand, five billion dollars, maybe you might want to do a test transaction first just to make sure it goes the right place. Just keep that in mind. I got 19 bucks. I've done this many times, so I'm not going to do the test transaction. So it's going to say here two, where do you want to send it? And this is going to be the address. Now Coinbase is a little bit different. It can ask you for your mobile email or of course the uh, crypto uh, address itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over here to my Ledger Live app. And there's a couple of different ways to find your uh, crypto address or your project address, your, your cryptocurrency token address. So we can go into portfolio and I can look at all the things that I have right here. And right here it says Cosmos. So I can click on Cosmos, Cosmos 1, and see how it says send and receive. I can click on receive and it'll show me it. Or I can just be very simple. Just go to the receive on the left-hand side over here. Click on receive, same thing. Do a drop down, and I can go to Algorand, or excuse me, Algorand, Cosmos. Click on that and click continue. And it's going to say, okay, look, your device that you have right here, you're going to need to unlock it. This is my ledger device. It's connected to my computer. I'm going to unlock it with my pin, one, two, three, four, five. Just kidding. Don't worry. I didn't give you my pin. And now that's unlock, connect and unlock. Open app Cosmos. Yes. And this is all done right here. Now it's going to say, look, here's the address that we have. Does this look right? And I'm going to compare the address that's on my screen to the one that's in my ledger. And it's Cosmos. I always just take a look at the first one. I don't compare everything. Cosmos 1P, Cosmos 1P, NR3. And I'm going to say approve. I'm going to click on my ledger device. That's it. So let me re-verify again because I forgot to do this. We're going to copy this address. Address copied. Now we're going to go back to Coinbase. I'm going to paste this in. Add a memo. When you're transferring things from an exchange to a cold storage device, you don't need a memo. The other way around, you do. And uh, there'll be documentation. You can find that in the link in the description. But for transferring to a cold storage device, you don't need a memo. If it asks for it, you can just put any random numbers, one, three, or five, whatever. The message itself is like a reminder. I'm gonna, I'm, this is to my Nano X. And I'm going to click Continue. And it's going to ask me, do you want to send now? Yes, I do. I do want to send now. Pay and receive. The network fee is 0 0.0025 Adam, which is uh, next to nothing. We're going to click on Send Now. And it's going to ask me, okay, now you're going to do the Google Authenticator because I set this up because I like security. I don't like to lose things. I'm going to look this up on my phone. I'm not going to show you because there's no point in that. And I'm going to put this in. And of course, this always changes every 30 seconds. So it doesn't matter if you see that. And a couple of seconds. Great. Transaction usually takes a few seconds. Adam's pretty quick. And I just transferred 1.8 Adam. So I'm going to click on done. Let's come over here and check to see if it's actually there already. Please review. Don't need this. Get this out of here. Approve. Done. So what I'm going to take a look for is, as far as the latest operations, I did this at uh, 8.44 p.m. At some point, it should come in, and that is it. Now, there's one thing I wanted to, to make mention here. There's different criteria for, oh, there it is, receive 338. Boy, that was fast. So to have this connected, sometimes there's errors with, with Nano Ledger. And the oddest one that I've found is, well, first of all, I've gone through a lot of troubleshooting because for some reason my ledger wouldn't connect every so often. And ledger, I reached out to them. They said, make sure that you're using Rosetta because I use a, a Mac. Make sure you have all the updated firmware, which it is. Make sure you're using the uh, preferential uh, cords 
for for net for ledger which this is and it still wouldn't work and i could not for the life of me figure it out until i uh had a chance encounter i was using my daedalus wallet and i was i have this thing on all the time every so often it uh, I, I shut it down and for whatever reason, the Daedalus wallet itself, when I have this on, which I'm going to leave this on right here, and when I try to go back to my wallet to do anything, for some reason, we'll see if it can load. It usually does not work. Sorry, connection failed. We can retry, and it'll say this exact same thing. And for whatever reason, when I have the, my Daedalus wallet on, it will not work. Now watch this. I'm going to shut this down. And I'll try it again, retry. And look at that, voila, things just work. So for whatever reason, Daedalus Wallet, if you have that installed and you have it running in the background, it will for some reason not allow you to connect to your Nano Ledger device. Don't know why that is, but you have to shut it down on top of everything else. So that is it for today. So hope you liked today's video. If you learned a little bit something, uh, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Most of what we do is talk about the news, but today I just thought I'd just do a quick little, little run through, show you how easy things are that uh, is uh, available to you in the crypto world. So that is it for today. Like, subscribe. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.